Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMail and welcome to Bootleg Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Asian brine. First we're going to start off making it just as a rub, a dry rub, and then I'm going to spice it up and add a little bit of liquid because I'm going to be using this on one of my special recipes which are braised pork ribs that are finished off in the oven, barbecue style. Alright, so this recipe is for me anyway about two pounds of meat. So I'm going to use about a quarter cup of salt and I have five spice and this for me is all inclusive this particular one has cloves ground cinnamon star anise fennel and black pepper and I'm going to use about three tablespoons and I'm going to go heavy on the sugar because it's going to give it a nice caramelized effect so we're going for about a half a cup to three quarter cup this in it of itself is a dry rub that you can put on anything. Now, to make this work for my particular recipe, we are going to add three other ingredients which will make it into a paste. I have vinegar, you can use rice wine vinegar, I use regular vinegar. This is a regular cooking sake that you can buy on any grocery store shelf, but you can use any sake that you want, it all works the same. And a little bit of, that's right, fish sauce. But we're only going to use a little bit because it can be very strong. So, here we go. I'm going to use about, I'd say, oh, a half a cuppy, oops, that's a club, of sake. We just want a little bit of acid to make it just tart. So we're going to go with about two tablespoons. And for fish sauce, I'm going to go in with about a quarter cup of fish sauce. That's it. This paste can be used with anything. So if you want to do it again on fish, chicken, beef, anything, you can. But make sure to check out my other video where I show you how to make braised ribs and bake them off in the oven with this exact sauce. And I will see you next week for another bootleg tip. Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making braised pork ribs that are finished off in the oven, barbecue style. 